Yes, big news today. You guys are going to like this video. And yes, you read it correctly. Just an hour or two ago, Coinbase released a press release and a corresponding tweet. It says, today we are announcing that we're exploring the addition of the following assets to Coinbase. Cardano, Basic Attention Token, Stellar Lumen, Zcash, and Zero X. This is big, big news. This video today is not going to be too long, but I do. I want to give you the exact details on exactly what this press release says so you can be as informed as possible. Because whether you're a crypto enthusiast who wants to see mass adoption or whether you're a crypto investor who wants to make some money, this is really great news. And I'll be telling you exactly why. Like always, if you appreciate videos like this, especially since we got it out to you two hours after the press release happened, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Right now, hit the like button. It truly does help us grow as a channel. It gets this information out there. Anyways, let's get into it. Now, before we read the press release, I want to answer the question, first of all, hey, who cares what gets listed on Coinbase? Why is that a big deal? Well, I'm going to tell you why it's a big deal. If you're a crypto enthusiast, obviously you care. If you want to see mass adoption, obviously Coinbase, one of the most user-friendly, a lot of times it's the first place that new, uh, new people who just found out about Bitcoin, that's where they go to buy their first Bitcoin, the normal everyday average person. And then they get on, they buy a Bitcoin, and they see, oh, there's Ethereum is also listed, and Bitcoin Cash, and those are a lot less than Bitcoin. I want to get some of those too. So obviously what's get, what gets listed on Coinbase, people are going to just naturally you know, want to buy. Now what does that mean as an investor? That means there's a possibility to make some real big money. Now, on this channel, we talk about Basic Attention Token, and we talk about Cardano and Stellar quite a lot, and we have mentioned those other ones too. You know, I've talked about how I just recently took out a position in Cardano. I'm pretty glad it's getting listed on Coinbase, because let's take a look at what happened less than a year ago with Bitcoin Cash. I remember when Bitcoin Cash, you know, first hit the markets. Uh, it had an all-time high back in, uh, when was it, August-ish where it hit all-time high back then was around $800, and then it slowly sank to around $300. And then, around November, uh, there was a press release that came out saying that Bitcoin Cash is going to be added to Coinbase, and Bitcoin Cash went from $300 to almost $2,000. And then, when it actually got added on Bitcoin Cash, we went all the way up to $4,000. So imagine going from $300 to $4,000. Now, although this was the time when the whole market was getting pumped, so this is a very good time if you held Bitcoin Cash. It just, I mean, even besides that, you can see going from $300 to $400, it's a big deal, especially as an investor. Even though the whole market's down right now, Bitcoin Cash still sitting at around $700. So anyways, let's get into the exact details. One of the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchanges has announced its intention to support more coins. In an official blog post, Coinbase announced that it's exploring the addition of several new assets and currently working with local banks and regulators to make them available in as many jurisdictions as possible. Coinbase is looking to add Cardano, Basic Attention Token, Seller Lumen, Zcash, and Zerox onto its platform. Guys, if you get if you um hold any of these uh, cryptocurrencies, or if you happen to buy any of these cryptocurrencies because we talk about them sometimes, let me know in the comments. That's something I'd enjoy. Uh, reading. Uh, anyways, Coinbase stated that these assets would require additional exploratory work given the nature of their architecture, and they cannot make any guarantees that they will make their way onto trading. Interesting. So they're not making any guarantees, but they do intend to add all of these. The press release stated, going forward, you should expect that we will make similar announcements about the about exploring the addition of multiple assets. Some of these assets may become available everywhere, while others may only be supported in specific jurisdictions. Interesting. Basic Attention Token and Zero X would be the first ERC-20 tokens to be supported on their platform. Coinbase announced, Coinbase announced its intention to add Ethereum Classic uh, just, what was it, a month ago on June 12th. Uh, given Ethereum Classic's similar protocol architecture to that of Ethereum, it might be available for trading sooner than these other assets. So we should expect to see Ethereum Classic getting listed first, and then possibly these other assets. The development on the regulatory front would be interesting in regards to the uncertainty around the nature of crypto assets as securities or otherwise. Coinbase stated that legal analysis is ongoing and will vary by jurisdiction. As we only plan to launch assets which are compliant with local law, some assets may only be available in specific jurisdictions. So what does that mean? If 
a government can't find a positive way to regulate, then Coinbase isn't going to offer those coins in that area. So if the U.S. government doesn't clarify um, some of these other cryptocurrencies, we may not see these coins listed in America as soon as maybe some other countries. That's, I mean, that's really what that means. Let's, let's continue. This announcement has been made to the public and Coinbase internal team at the same time to avoid any internal trading. All right. Coinbase released its guidelines for the, for the addition of new assets earlier this year in March. Given their recent expansion, it is safe to assume that many other assets can be soon expected on the platform. The addition of 0x and basic attention can definitely pave the path for more ERC-20. So this was the article that went along with the press release. I'm going to leave the press release in the description of this video so you can actually click and read it, read it yourself. But I did give you the main details. Something interesting or something kind of cool about this pr press release, they go through a question and answer like, why are you exploring the assets at this time? They actually also, they list like if somebody doesn't know about Cardano or somebody doesn't know about basic attention token, they basically give a little summary on each one and why they see value in it and why it'd be good for their platform. Uh, and then they just answer all these questions. What is the status of adding, adding ERC-20 tokens? How will you decide what countries to launch these assets in? So I'm going to leave this in the comments. If you want to check it out yourself, definitely do that. Let's take a quick look at the market now because I want to see how these coins are doing. We see a little bit of green in the market. Let's take a look at Cardano first. So Cardano, as I recall yesterday, was trading at about 12 cents. And now it's went up almost 11% to almost 14 cents. So we are seeing a little bit, bit of a spike. I mean, this information was only, only released a couple hours ago. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. All right, how about, how about something else? How about zero X? There we go. Are you guys invested in these tokens? Let me know. I personally have positions in Cardano. I've talked about a lot that a lot on the channel recently. I have a position in Stellar Lumen. I know my brother has a position in Basic Attention Token, and I'm not sure what else. Yeah, we're seeing a spike in all of these. This will be interesting. So like we saw with Bitcoin Cash, obviously there is going to be a little bit of a spike when it first gets released. But when probably, this is what I'm assuming, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know. I'm not giving financial advice. But if we look at history, you know, it spiked a little bit when the press release happened, but then when it actually got listed, it spiked a lot. So it'll be interesting to see what these coins do in the next coming months. And anyways, that's it for the video today. Like I said, I only wanted to cover one topic because this is actually our second video here on Altcoin Daily. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily cryptocurrency content. If you didn't check out our video earlier today covering some other news, check out Bitcoin Bull Run, Three Reasons Bitcoin ETFs Could Happen Next Month interesting stuff today. Whoops. I really like this video. I hope you found value in it. And that's it, guys. See you tomorrow.